Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's things where you are? How's life in your world? Things here are pretty great, other than I just drove through a pretty massive rainstorm. Like, seriously torrential rainstorm. Um, but, I got through it okay. And I thought, you know, I've got the dash cam now, and I just now bought a 10 foot cable for it. <clears throat> I thought about pulling the footage and all that stuff, but I don't really know how interesting it is to see somebody drive into a rainstorm. Which in your rainstorms can be um, surprising because of the mountains, and it it breaks it up into these weird patterns that you might drive through complete dryness to just suddenly blasting a rainstorm, and it, it's really bizarre. Um, unlike, you know, I've driven a lot across the, the, the country, and I would say in the flatlands especially, there's always like there's rain out here and then there's rain in here whereas here sometimes it's like that out fringe rain that that like little drizzle that's happening on the outside of the storm doesn't exist and you just suddenly there's like you know massive raindrops pounding you and you can't see so it's really it's really strange uh, maybe someday i will put together some different footage but i'm not sure that's why i have the dash cam but i gotta get the this cable i have like a little cable hanging down and it sucks i don't like it but that's beside the point. Yesterday we talked about game design and I thought a little bit about this this game that I'm working on and whether I'm actually going to ever pursue it or not. I've thought about the games that I've done and um, you know over the last few uh, actually for like a year or more now I've thought about launching another Kickstarter and so I'm just coming to you to ask like would you support that? And I feel like if you're watching this video, the if you're one of the 20 people that watches this, chances are you would support anything I would ever do. But that doesn't necessarily translate to success, right? Um, I would appreciate every single person who participates. But um, I published two games in the past that I gave away for free. I, I said that yesterday, and I really wish I had, I should have prepared for this. One of them is called Me Booty, and it is a card game version of a game that I had published by another publisher. And I like it way better than the original. It's a much better game. Um, and I didn't want to publish it, per se, because it felt like weirdly... It was too similar. Same theme, um, you know, similar characters. Just, it, it felt wrong to publish it because it was basically a knockoff of my own game um but i'm well beyond that point i have not made royalties on my on scallywags in probably three years four years i haven't seen a royalty check from that game for a very long time so i pretty much considered it a dead product i could ask for my rights back and get them but i don't nobody else is going to publish it so i don't i'm not worried about that um so i might what I've been considering is I gave these two games away for free on, on at Gen Con. I'm thinking about doing like a dual pack Kickstarter where I would you would get one or both of those games um, for a very small price. And it would be a print-on-demand thing. I, the uh, poll was originally done print-on-demand. This is done by the Game Crafter. Game Crafter originally printed the originals, and I would use them to print however many we sell. Um, but I'm thinking about doing it just to put those games out there. And the, and the thing I don't know is, does anybody care? Um, I'm, I'm so far removed from the, these days, from when I was doing this a lot and being, um, hyper-productive at game design. I don't have game fans anymore. I don't have a big following audience, uh, that is looking for these sorts of things. So, um... I don't know if it's worth the time to try it, but I kind of want to just to see. Uh, and, it, and I remember going through this process of doing this game, and it was exhausting. But I really came out of it with a quality game. I'm actually really, really proud of this design. It works so well. Um, but to go through all that again, to not make it, uh, not make it, to not publish the games would be a would be a bit of a setback. Uh, the second game that I did is called Matter Than a Hatter, and it's 
um, game about hats because I used to wear um, men's fashion hats like fedoras and bowlers and stuff like that all the time. Um, it needs a little work. It, it's okay, but it's not good, and it needs to be cleaned up a little bit before I would publish it. But I've been considering it. So I'm just curious to know like, what kind of reach I still have in the gaming community, whether it be worth my time to do it or not, or whether I should just give up on that and maybe um, find something better to spend my time on. Uh, I am enjoying still this little game design thought process that I've had the past couple of days taking notes in my notebook but the truth is i've got so many other projects on my plate right now but between work between the videography work that i've been doing to um some some side projects some some um what's it called when somebody some commission work that i've been asked to do um i just i'm so busy that i don't know that i need to take on another project I don't, that's obviously the answer, but uh, I think it would be fun, and that's why I try tend to do these things. I get bored with whatever I'm doing, and I'm like, I'll just go do a thing. So, I don't know. That's all I really have for you today. Just talk about Kickstarter. Tomorrow I will be headed to Origins, so uh, I don't know what the show's going to be like, but we'll see. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for being wonderful people and amazing friends. And I really appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Taser and Fact comes from danmurphys.com. Where is Heineken beer imported from? The ever-popular flagship brew of Dutch brewing giant Heineken International, founded in 1864 by Gerard Adrian Heineken in Amsterdam. Crisp and refreshing, this fully imported Heineken is a classic European style lager.